All right, we are back at it and picked up the load just right next to the load we dropped off in Hayes. We've got a bunch of big old tires here. So uh, we're going to be hauling those all the way across Colorado and, uh, you know, say trip through the mountains. So we'll see how that goes. Let's uh, remember how to drive because it's been a few weeks since I have actually done anything in game. But had some time, so going to uh, going to go back and do some more videos of this. Still, like this will be three weeks until you see it. So I'm still really far ahead on content, but had to get week 13 done for iRacing, which is always a big, big, big money maker for me. And it has done really, really well. So that's been nice. And these videos are still doing really good. Um, better than the flight sim videos. So that's been interesting to see. But yeah, we are in Hayes, and we will be heading... Uh, I don't know if we're on 70, if that's what we'll be taking into Colorado. I'm used to northern Kansas, where I used to do a lot of storm chasing along that highway up north. So this area, a little less familiar for me. Although I have ended up down here a few times. I probably should use blinkers, remember what the button is for that. I've hit the gear instead of the blinker at first. But yeah, this should be a pretty simple drive. It's not like we've got a massive trailer. We do have quite a bit of weight on it. Let's see what our weight is. I guess only 33,000. There was a couple of other really long missions uh, that didn't pay quite as much as I thought they should, so I went with this one. That way I didn't have to break up a job into two videos. But there was one from here to Washington. That was going to be a really long one. Alright, let's see if the truck has any idea what right away is. Then I think we just hop up on the interstate and get rolling. Uh, fuel. I forgot to even look at that. Oops. Um, looks like we're still good. We'll be able to make it somewhat into Colorado and maybe need to get fuel. It's the only thing I don't like about this is the uh, lack of the digital dash that I had on the other one, but let's see what we've got here. Well, I'm going to just back off. And I did not even look at the roundabout to see if traffic was coming. I am being a really crappy truck driver right now. Alright. Here we go. On to the interstate where I don't have to worry about as much. Maybe I'll get my head back in this. Oh. Big old hill on the on-ramp. not going to be at minimum speed by the time we get up 
and I don't think they're going to give us a long enough run up. Yeah, I guess a minimum is 40. But we're just getting going, so it's okay. There we go. All right, so 716 miles, and this one's actually probably going to be a long video just because I think the tail end of this trip is really slow through the mountains. We're headed to um, Wrangley. I have no idea where that is. But we're going to be limited to 65, as always, with these external jobs. Turn up the volume here. I can hear it a little better. I don't think it affects the volume of the truck for you guys. No, it might, actually. Um, anyways. Get into Colorado, and hopefully... Joaquini. They have a racetrack that I have been to. Get some weird flashing on the chrome trim. I think it's just the road. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so I've been to quite a few racetracks in Kansas, the dirt tracks, growing up. Norton, Wakini. Um, God, there's another one in the central area that I can't even think of, but... We usually hop down there once or twice a year. Especially if there was a rain out or something on uh, our side of the border in central Nebraska. But, yeah, other than that... I haven't been down to Kansas in a while. I think drove through a tiny portion of it when I went to St. Louis last year, and then before that, to Kansas City for soccer match. Really, there's no need to go to anything in western Kansas other than storms. I've been been thinking about going out and doing some photography again, but just with the massive amount of people that have started to storm chase compared to even 10 years ago, I just don't want to deal with it. There's just like no escaping it, and you got people that are just clueless, stopping on side on the side of roads and. It's just uh, turning it into a dangerous situation where I think eventually there's going to need to be some some changes in the law, especially watching any YouTube channels where it's just one guy in a vehicle with like eight different screens and switching cameras and talking and reading the chat. I mean, that should just that should be a instant ban you need to have someone in the vehicle with you operating all that stuff so that you can focus on the driving part but eventually someone important's gonna, gonna get hurt because we've already had people get hurt we've had people we've had scientists get killed because of the traffic jams and couldn't get away from the area. But yeah, it'll take someone 
being a friend or a relative of someone with power before anything actually changes with that whole scene. Alright, well, I have no idea where we're at. We got the crossing arms there for the winter when it snows and they got to close down the interstates which happens quite a bit Denver's 232 miles away We've got 10 hours left on this trip. 600 miles. We're definitely going to have to uh, fuel and rest at some point, but we should be able to make it to Denver and then uh, fuel up and rest before the mountains. never heard of that town. They took Kansas and Tornado and put it into a single word. But, uh, yeah, not a lot to see. Fields. Lots of wind turbines. A perfect place for them. Border must be coming up as we've got some scales. And here we are, Colorado. Some very bright roads. The last time I was in Colorado, I have. I don't know. 10, 12 years ago. It has been a while. If I was going to pick a place to live, it would probably be out by Denver. Or in Salt Lake. But more likely, Denver. But I also kind of get sick of the snow, so maybe, maybe someplace south. Yeah, this uh, this part of Colorado is strange. Starts to get uh, a little dry. I've been on this road, but. It was an accident because the guy driving back from Denver got on the interstate and then missed the sign for 80, and so we stayed on 70, and then all of a sudden we got Welcome to Kansas sign, and we were like, what the hell? Uh, this was before every phone had GPS and everything. That was a surprise when we seen the sign, and we were all like, shit and I had to drive to Knoxville that night and to get to the Knoxville Nationals so that only extended my fun driving from Denver to Des Moines I guess we're going to start seeing mountains soon because this is such a condensed map. Should see something.
forgot if 70 goes straight to Denver. Yeah, it's got to go straight to Denver, right? Or does it stay lower? Yeah, I think it goes south. Do have scales coming up. Your buildings. They've got a lane to merge on, so I don't need to get over. Nope, those are not larger buildings, those are just grain and silos. Ah, jerks, ruining my trip, and we are hard on the brakes. gonna tell me my truck is broken again pretty sure that it's all good so if it tells me that this time I'm gonna say that they don't know what they're talking about Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. My truck is fine. But we do need some fuel. I think we'll get to Denver and do that, though. Could exit here, but... some better options up ahead as we turn north. It's a loves anyways. I don't like those places. At least around here, they are usually pretty dirty and gross. I missed what it said for Denver there, but... Oh yeah, and it's 75 out of Denver to 80, isn't it? And I think that's where my friend got confused, was he took 70. Alright, starting to get into the more ranch area. This kind of looks like this all the way into the foothills. Guess I could take that away. I forgot. Give us a better view of the world. So yeah, just got done watching F1 qualifying, and that was pretty good. 
for the Canadian Grand Prix, if that tells you how long ago I recorded this. Looking forward to that race tomorrow. Got a bunch of interchanges coming up now. Airport Boulevard. Wonder if this is where my dad lives. Okay, apparently we've just got a bunch of strip club advertisements happening now. Uh, you know what? We're not going to get off here, because that looks confusing as hell. What is the speed? Road work ahead. I think if we can get to the north side of Denver on 70, because I assume we're taking 70 into the mountains. Then, uh, then we can stop on the outskirts of town up there. Up and down 25 a ton. Down in Colorado Springs. I'm trying to figure out. Oh no, it's 76, not 75. Okay. See, this is how long it's been since I've been out here. And 76 is going to be on the north side of town. There's a indoor goat cart track that we used to go to up there. So then we're going to be coming around... This is probably Loveland. Back here. And then we are getting off at... Maybe I should have filled up back there. is this that we are getting off on really hope we're not going up into the mountains immediately but I think that's what's happening okay never mind getting over was pointless because this is just the way the road goes <laughs> Okay, well, I hope we can find some fuel. I know our speed's going to be much lower, but uh, we're under or at a quarter of a tank. Oh, come on. Come on, automatic transmission. No, you need to go low. Well, we're going to have to find some fuel. The very next fuel that we see is where we've got to go. Cat food time. Yeah, the only, the only saving thing is we are not going to be using up some RPM, but we are going to be going very slow, and I don't see any fuel.
anywhere soon. That is not good. Have I completely screwed this up? Are we going to run out of fuel in the middle of the Rockies? This is why you should be prepared and know what's ahead rather than just looking at your map and assuming that there would be fuel on the other side of Denver. Highly doubt Eagle Vale is going to uh, have fuel. I'm hoping a fuel thing is just hiding behind one of these icons. I don't even know what happens if I run out of fuel. some speed so we can coast. I mean, the good news is that this tank is uh, 200 gallons, I think. So, a quarter is still quite a bit, but I mean, we're we're in a bad situation. Uh oh, trucks are supposed to go 35. Okay, well. Now that I've gotten myself next to another vehicle, that way we can just block everyone. I was wondering why the hell he was going so slow. Let's scoot ahead of him here. We're going to speed for a little bit. Use gravity assist for our fuel mileage. Luckily, I don't think you can burn the brakes out. I was going to get over with, but... This, uh... This truck's obeying the law as well. Trying to keep it at 45. Alright, we'll get over here. Wonder what happens if you hit that. Looks like you can go up it, and it's not actually blocked off. We're going to let our truck run away. Because I need the fuel saving. Alright, so... We do have fuel, I think... After we make this uh, turn up here, I'll just make sure that it doesn't split. Stay behind this truck. Yeah, the Rockies are just amazing. canyons up through them are 
very, very cool. Alright, we should be good. I think we're okay. I believe we've got fuel up. Oops, I was going to point, but I forgot the mouse is a look and not a point. So Glenwood Springs might be our fuel stop. Said something about vehicles over a hundred thousand, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it said ten thousand. You know what? I'm not doing good at uh, reading signs at all. So it's another tunnel. We're only 240 miles out. But the sun is going to be setting. Should be setting much earlier in the mountains. Depending on your elevation. Got to reset this mouse moving around a little annoying the hell out of me all right please have fuel got an Amtrak going through down there the worst means of travel in the US there is not fuel it's only a sleeping area Well, we continue on. Luckily, the fuel hasn't moved a whole lot. I'm going to guess it's costs a whole lot of money to get fuel brought to you or have your truck towed out of the middle of the Rockies. Okay, Glenwood Springs once again, still ahead of us. Fuel! There's fuel. We're saved. An actual fuel icon. We're good. Yeah, but this right here the Rockies, the mountains, driving through this, especially in the winter, 100% uh, the reason why I would never be a truck driver. Not my idea of fun at all. Too much pressure. Too many things can happen. And then windy ass days where you're driving a big sail down the road. Another aspect that I would never want to deal with. Just doesn't sound fun. Alright, I'm sure this is not going to be nice big turns because. It's very condensed spaces in these little mountain towns. Although it looks like we're okay here. But... 
fuel stop is looking kind of difficult. How do I do this? Looks like we can go around. I might... Oh, shit. There's a vehicle there. Oops. Okay. Guess we're going in this way. And then I might have to just back out of here. But we desperately need fuel, so... How many gallons are we going? Hundred and fifty eight gallons. Okay. We were still okay. Problem is now we've got ourselves in a shitty situation. So I've got to kind of back myself up here to try to get out of this. Especially with these cars here. I think we might be able to go around now. Just had to block out these cars and then get us closer to the left side here. I am worried it's going to be fairly tight around here. No, nope, we're good so far. Stay nice and wide in case it does tighten up. Yep. <laughs> I hope no one's coming around that. Alright, we're okay. That's nice and simple so far. Cool. Alright. Got our fuel. We're not going to be able to sleep. So now we're mountain driving at night. Make sure no one is coming the other way. We're going to do a big old pop out here because we got to do essentially a U-turn to get onto the on-ramp and now we're good to go 191 miles oh god he's not getting over He didn't have anyone next to him. I don't know why he wasn't getting over. Keep right except to pass was not in his mindset. All right, well, now we got a big old dark mountain area. I don't think there's, yeah, I mean, there's, God, we got a long ways to go. Maybe we do stop at this rest area up ahead. Because I kind of enjoy seeing the scenery, and we're just getting silhouettes here. I know that the dark views don't translate well over YouTube, so we'll stop at this rest stop, get some rest, pick it up in the morning, and uh, see where we're actually headed to, because I know we're getting off the interstate, pretty sure.
feel like... Yep. Okay, so that rest stop was only for the other way. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going to stop. Got Grand Junction down here. That'll have some areas, and then we're going on 139 to the north, and it's got some exceptionally tight turns, it looks like. So, definitely want to do that in the daylight. Discovered Grand Junction. Now, where's the exit to sleep? I don't believe this exit. I mean, there is one. There's a truck stop over there, so. Let's get off there. Oh, this is a funky... Oh, is this a diverging diamond? It is. These are so stupid. I have never felt safe, safer, or quicker with a diverging diamond. Because half the people going through them are idiots and don't have any idea what's going on, freak out, slam on their brakes, and don't understand it. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't make progress because of idiots. Just saying those were overthinking things quite a bit. I think we could have made it to this exit, but I didn't want to risk it. Oh man, these red lights. We need some traffic activated lights or it's 11 o'clock. We need some flashing lights. Flashing yellows, flashing reds. wonder if that's even in the game. Alright, well, we're going to do our normal, normal sleeping thing of... Uh, use up all of the spots. What the hell is honking at me? Because I'm not going to take the time to back in. And everyone else can just deal with it. Alright. Let's just do a UE out of here. We can see things now. And you just head down this service road up to the next exit and get back on. Oh, sweet. We caught it right as it's turning red, so. I mean, I guess that it could have been worse. It could have been the turn lane that was turning red, and then we'd have to wait even longer. They still haven't even got the green yet. 
There they go. So yeah, Grand Junction is pretty much at the border, isn't it? Yeah, we got scales right there, so I'm guessing I remembered that correctly. So should be uh, pretty close to Utah, which we've already been in. We're going to have to, from here, head west, hit the west coast states that we've yet to see. Here's the tricky thing. Is this guy just waiting to turn on his turn signal, or is he going straight? Because I could come up here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that so that... can get through this light, hopefully, full organic valley steps on it. Are we going to get some rain? It is darkened up. I turned the rain chances way down in this game. Do I have wipers? Okay, I do. Oh my god. AI truck. Just slamming on the brakes. I mean... I've, I've seen worse truck drivers. Where they go to make the turn and they don't... Oh. I think that car just turned into us. I'm going through the yellow. We're getting away from that crash. Turns out they were all turning. That is our first contact. Don't have any damage though. That car does. But we're gonna quickly drive away from him. Terrible AI logic there. I should have known better. It looked like they were all staying straight. I'm surprised this is the first time that we've ran into that. Alright. Off to Wrangley. 103 miles away. Clouds have kind of lightened up. Yeah, so this area, a bit, a bit flatter. I mean, I know we're, I think we're fairly high up in elevation. Like, the flight into Grand Junction is pretty awesome because you go, like, over this big plateau down into the town. But we're going to have, I think we're going to be going up into some mountains on the north side with the way the roads were looking. Dinosaur. I think that's what I said. It's what my it's what my mind thought I saw. Alright, I was going, why is this fifty-five? But now I can see that it's actually kinda 
fairly tight road with a half shoulder. Yeah, I know I'm going slower than the speed limit, but we're about to go up into uh, these bluffs, at least that's what I'm calling them, and down to 40. Thought I could use the hill to help me break, but... And down to 25. At least we waited till we rested to come up through here because we would not be seeing all of this very well. The left-handers are fine. It's the right-handers that... me because you got to kind of put your left front out to the yellow line and if someone's hugging that yellow line on the opposite direction but with the left handers keep your nose out nice and wide so that you can get the trailer around without crossing the yellow line and if they hit the back part of your trailer, they're just going to bounce off of it. Whereas if they hit the left front of your cab, uh, it's going to be kind of a hard stop. Alright. Some tight turns there. Glad we didn't have a massive trailer. It's actually a really simple configuration for this. I think the one to Washington was another one of those uh, double pivot fifth wheels. What do we got off to this direction? Should we do a quick look? Oh, we're gonna die. Maybe I've got a screen cap of that. Our first uh, cattle guard. Alright, now we're going to go slow. Got a coach bus and a cement truck ahead of us. They are taking their sweet ass time. I mean, speed limit's 25. Sorry, mic got messed up there. Speed limit's now 35. Come on, guys. Now it's 65. You can go fast. miles out. It's got to be right around the bend. Now how how we get out of this area, I'll try to find a way. I mean, if the road continues on, we'll just find a route that goes in that direction. Because I don't want to 
drive the same old road. Nice looking area out here though. I kind of love this desertish rocky western US look. We've made it to the town. A town I have never heard of. This isn't a cement truck, is it? It's a tanker. I thought it was a straight truck. Oops. Wrong button. Here we go. Small, t small town US. School bus parked on the side of the road. a strange town. I'm going to go look it up. It's kind of got that like uh, western Arizona New Mexico look to it with the buildings. Breakdown dealership. And we got a dirt road here. All right. We got an oil field out here. Taking tires to an oil field. Turn it in. We just got a uh, circle around here. I think we're just going to do a quick drop off. Since this video is long enough. I'm going to assume if the next thing we're hauling is from here. Then we'll be uh, doing a tanker job. But who knows? Got your bulldozer tires up here. Yeah, let's just skip it. 40 XP is nothing. 724 miles, an hour and one minute, 126 gallons, and uh, that is our 13th job, although there was like five of them before I started recording these from years and years ago. So, uh, there we go. We are level 10 now. That means I can add another click into long distance haul. And that's the job. So we are now up to $97,000. And I'll have to uh, 
yeah, have to see. Like, looking at the map, let's see if this road even goes. Oh, yeah, it does go. We've actually got two options out of here. So that's good. Um, yeah, so we have hit all the states over here. We've sort of hit Montana. But maybe, uh, maybe a trip up into Montana through Wyoming like that might be good. Or maybe we just head back over into Utah down, who knows. I'll see once I'm ready to record the next one, but hope you're enjoying this. Thanks for watching.